Got my boy ears caught, man. Okay, sir. Did you say your dog's... I'm back with another video, man. Um, so, got the dog ears cropped. Chaga try. Also, Paris needed a restitch. So, I just got her a restitch. Um, guess she knocked her stitches out, man. Whenever you got that stuff on there, man, they be pulling on and on. Anyway, so, another thing I found out today is the Chaga try has coccidia. So, now I got him on a 10 day treatment for coccidia. I asked him about, um, I asked him about, uh, I asked him about, um, the sores that I've been seeing on all the puppies. He said, he said, it's called, it's a staph infection. So we're going to do a 10 day treatment, a 10 day treatment with, what is this called? Cephalexin, 250 milligram cephalexin. It's an antibiotic, so we're gonna put the chocolate trial on cephalexin for the uh, 10 days. All right, and then we're gonna see if they clear up the staph infection. Then, if they clear up the staph infection, I'm gonna come back and get enough, enough well, I'm gonna order online, I'm gonna order enough pills for all the puppies to treat them for the staph infection. How do they get staph infections? Um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. They ain't stockable kennels, so they shouldn't, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to figure it out, y'all. Like I said, I'm new to this as well. Um, especially having three litters at once. It's become overcrowded. And Coxidia, they said that's one of the, uh, one of the problems with overcrowding. There's too many puppies in one area. that messes their immune system up, so I'm just, that's why I built all the kennels in the backyard so I can start, you know, giving them more space to run around and play in and not step in pool. God, they'll step in pool and they'll jump on each other and they'll step in pool and they'll bite each other and then they're eating dookie. And it's just been a lot, y'all. I'm just, I'm just figuring it out. Like, I'm not overwhelmed or anything like that. I don't, I don't feel no type of, I don't feel that. I don't believe in that, but there's just more work to be done. Um, and I'm learning, y'all. Uh, the moment I found that I had three litters on the way, what I should have did is order like five or six more stackable kennels. And I knew that I needed more stackable kennels, but the thing about it is I'm leaving, I'm moving in one month. So I didn't want to get all this stuff ordered here and then have to repack it up and move it. I was hoping all the puppies would be gone by now because they just turned nine weeks. And then I would just, you know, do something different, but the puppies are they have puppies available, um, so we have to we have to do what's have to do something. And that's the reason I started putting some of the kennels back up in the backyard. So in the daytime, I just let them sleep, and after I feed them, I let them get some sleep, and then uh, we're gonna move them to the backyard when the sun, uh, probably like around six, seven, six p.m. Um, a couple of hours, move them to the backyard, and you know let them run around and play and get out the stockable kennels. Also, uh, I've been giving them Bandix. That's a little spray. I've been spraying all their bodies with Bandix over the infected areas. I didn't know it was a stab infection, but maybe, I don't know, I gotta look up Bandix. It has a, a bit of steroids in it, so maybe that'll cure, um, cure that up as well. But we're gonna work on the chocolate char inside out, you know. So I got all the medicine in them. I got them on a liquid dewormer. Have with the coccidia, also have him on cephalexin, and he is no longer um, going to be with the other puppies. He will be in the house from now on. Um, just cool environment. Um, we're just going to work work it out. We're going to work these two in the garage, and we're going to keep Paris and um, the Chaga Tri in the house um, until they leave, because you know just to make sure that we get them completely 100% healthy before we send them off to their home because they leave within within two weeks, they leave. And then we're gonna see what that does for for the health benefits of these puppies. And, and if that works, we're gonna follow the same, the same exact steps for every other puppy that I have. Thank you to everybody that purchased a puppy. Thank you to my brother that picked up his puppy um, 
couple of days ago. And um, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been good, y'all. It's been a learning process. As I'll tell y'all, everything is a learning curve. Everything that you go through, um, every hardship, whatever, whatever y'all you want to put a name to it, it is to help you. Okay, everything, every, every problem, difficulty, whatever you want to put a name to it, is to help you. So I'm not, uh, I'm not shying, shying away from these experiences. I'm learning. Um, everything I'm everything I'm doing, y'all, I'm learning so much. So whenever I come across any of this, or if anybody have a question, they can call me and I better tell them, yep, that's what that is. Um, do this, do that, and that's gonna work. And like, I'll be able to tell y'all, like, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm super happy that I'm able to go through what I'm going through right now with all these puppies. It's, it's equipping me for something so much larger than larger than this. As y'all know, I'm trying to get a ranch. I want horses. I want cows. I want goats. Um, I want a lot of a lot of animals. So, to be able to, to learn all this through dog breeding is you can't buy you can't buy these lessons, bro. Like, you gotta go through what you gotta go through. And, um, I'm happy for it, you know. So, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. I will not, I will not end this video right here. Um, I will show off a couple puppies. We got a couple ear crops redone, recrop. We got ear crop done and a retake, restitch done. And uh, we're just gonna work this out, y'all. We're gonna work this out um, one day at a time. I tell y'all all the time, take this stuff one day at a time. Don't try to look too far ahead, one day at a time. I will send off healthy puppies, okay? There's no way I'm sending off a puppy that's not 100% healthy, all right? So just know we, we are, I am doing, I'm paying whatever it costs. I'm doing whatever I can to send off healthy puppies. And um, I'm just learning y'all. So have patience with me. For those that's interested in any, more, any puppies I have available, hit me up at 206-499-0422. Um, I suggest watch every video y'all. Every video where I'm putting out game, I'm learning. Watch the video so if you come across these issues um there's information out there that i'm putting out there for you guys so save you guys uh, some money and trouble and um yeah just whatever i can help with i can help with and i also have a website for you guys the whole 91 shots just not for people that if you just got one dog you want to go charge the bar company cool that's perfectly fine but for those that have litters there's a website where you can order your shots on that's like like seven dollars off each each um each vaccine i know that's where i order all my six and ones where i order all my nine and ones as y'all know i administer all my shots well i administer the first set of shots on my own if they still around i administer the second set of shots on my own I, um so that's just what I, that's what i do um but yeah i will catch you guys back at the house and i will show you guys a couple i'll show you guys the puppies when i get back home uh, once I move them to the backyard, um, give those that need baths a bath. I've been watching all the puppies almost, not all of them every day, but I've been I've been giving baths every day. So just to the ones that you know that are needed, and also when I get to the house today, today I will be clipping nails. The nails have gotten them on, which is causing them to hurt each other, which in effect, you know. It's one thing for, you know, them hurting each other and there's no poop around, you know, feces. But if they're poop underneath their nails and hurting each other and they're biting each other and playing, those little regular scars become, um, you know, wingworm looking like, but it's, it's all, it's just staph infection, which is just a bacteria. So, uh, I'm learning and I'm growing and uh, this won't, I won't say this won't happen again, but I would notice it a lot sooner and I'd be more proactive on what to do um, in the future. We'll see you at the house. Trying to bring the dogs back up for it. Early in the morning, y'all. Early in the morning, man. Y'all can see that skin here clearing up.
Hey, the hell going back y'all? I told you I would. Hey, go, Hazel. Hazel. You ain't got no milk in there? Hazel. Come on, girl. Look at Roxy, y'all. We thought this dog was blue, man, but she now it turned Brenda. It's a Brenda. It's a Brenda from Zeus and Roxy. Yes, sir. First person, ten thousand dollars get her. Two zero six four nine nine zero four two two. First person, ten thousand dollars get her. Char carrier. It's a Brenda Char carrier. All right, you put her with a char. She throwing char. She's beautiful, bro. You got more char markers than any other person. Ain't that something? Now look at my Barbie. We got a black Barbie down there, all black, thick. 206-499-0422. First person, a thousand dollars get her. First person, a thousand dollars get her. 206-499-0422. Ooh, thick. We got a neck, bro. Bro, she's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Imagine a chocolate tri carrier with green eyes. You don't find that. First person saying 2500 get him. First person saying 2500 get him. Look at that. Hey, big boy. <laughs> I thought I'd show y'all Paris. I know people like seeing their dogs in the videos, man. Fresh ear crop, recrop. I had to get restitched the other day because she knocked all the stitches out. So it's just a little bit longer to heal, but it's all good, man. Check out Paris, man. I don't know what they gonna name her, but that's what I put on the thing when they bought her. They said they want Paris. They called me and said, hey, bro, I want Paris. Send the money right now. Whoops. Sent it. A week later, sent the money for the ear crop. Got the aircraft done, and she's leaving in less than two weeks. Check out Paris, y'all. It's your boy, man. It's your boy. I mean, it's your girl, <laughs> my boy. It's your girl, my boy. She got pretty green eyes, man. Like, share, subscribe. India.